Bangkok, the sprawling, steamy heart of Thailand, home to around 9 million people and a city of contradictions. Situated on the banks of the Chao Phraya River, Bangkok is an intensely devout city which also attracts many pleasure seekers. A traditional village encased in a concrete jungle, where ancient and modern, manic and relaxed fuse into one. The most popular sport in Bangkok is soccer, as it is throughout Thailand. But what brought Trans World Sport to the land of smiles was not the beautiful game, but another ball game, one in which the Thais are undisputed kings. Sepak Takro is cherished as an inherent part of Thai culture and claims a popularity second only to soccer. On the streets and in parks and playgrounds throughout the kingdom, this traditional sport is played alongside its modern cousin. But whereas Thailand is ranked outside the top 100 national teams in soccer, their men's Sepak Takro team is the best in the world. We met up with them in Bangkok as they prepared for a busy few weeks ahead. Shortly, they'll be defending their titles at the Southeast Asian Games in Manila and the King's Cup in Bangkok. Sepak Takro has been played in Southeast Asia in various forms for over 500 years. Traditionally, it was played in a circle, and players would keep the ball in the air as long as possible without using their arms. In Thailand, it was called Takro, whilst in Malaysia, it was practiced as Sepak Bragor. In the late 19th century, enthusiasts added a net and a loose set of rules similar to volleyball to make the game more challenging and competitive. During the 1960s, a standard set of rules and regulations was written and the sport was officially named Sepak Takro. Twenty-eight-year-old Subsak Punsub is the star of the Thai national team and is considered the greatest player in the history of the game. I think that we have an outstanding national team with a lot of great players. As a unit, we're very well organized, very experienced and very tough to beat. We've all been playing together for a long time, so we have a sort of telepathy on the court. At the moment, we're training very hard for the SEA Games, the King's Cup and the Asian Games. Our main rivals are Malaysia, Myanmar, Indonesia and Vietnam. They all have strong teams and we have to be on our guard whenever we play them. In Sepak Takro, points can only be scored on the serve, which is relinquished when a point is lost. Each game goes up to 21. On a team, there's the Tekon, or server, and two forwards. The ball can only be hit three times before it must cross the net, but the same player can keep the ball aloft with any part of his body apart from his arms. There are 12 members in the Thai squad, but the main three-man team are Server, Punsub, and forwards Warapot Tongsai and Pornchai Kayoka. Whenever we play, there's a lot of pressure on us to perform well. The media in Thailand and the fans here expect us to win all the time. So when we step onto the court, we always try our best not to disappoint anyone. Over the past 10 years, Thailand have won every single major Sepak Takro competition. That's three Southeast Asian or SEA Games titles, two Asian Games crowns and nine King's Cups. The King's Cup is held every year in Bangkok at the Nakhon Sawan Gymnasium and is considered the world championship of the sport. Last year, Thailand comfortably defeated Myanmar in the final without even dropping a set. Kamol Tan Kim Hong is the coach of the Thai national team. We've won the King's Cup several years in a row now. 
Last year, we performed very well. Every year, all the top teams come to Thailand to take us on in this competition, and we have to fight them off and show them who is the best. But the other teams train hard for this event, and they are improving every year, so the defense of the cup gets harder. In preparation for the Defence of the King's Cup in mid-December and the SEA Games, which begin next week, the players spend six months away from their homes in a training camp held on a university campus in Bangkok. The national team are all professional, with their wages paid by the Sport Authority of Thailand. The squad are all well known in Thailand, but none more so than Subsak Punsul. However, this may be the last professional season of the Thai heartthrob, as it's rumoured that the 28-year-old will retire to become a sports anchorman on national TV. I've devoted so much of my life to this sport, and in turn it's given me a lot of pleasure. If I had to say exactly what it is about Sepak Takraw that I love so much, I would have to say it's the creativity. I have total freedom on the court to come up with my own moves and my own style of kicks. Also, you have to think fast when you play this game, and I honestly believe that this game has made me more mentally alert in my day-to-day -day life. Not only is Pun Sub unquestionably the best Sepak Takraw player in the world, He's also been instrumental in the growth of the sport. The game is now played in Europe, North America and Australia. Earlier this year, he demonstrated his skills in Colombia and Brazil. Wherever I've traveled, there's always been a very positive response to Sepak Takro. It makes me really happy that people all over the world are slowly getting into the sport. If Subsak Punsub does retire, other nations may have a chance to break Thailand's stranglehold on the men's game. If not, expect Thailand's dominance of Sepak Takraw to continue for the foreseeable future.